Hey everybody, it's Pete. Good morning. It is Thursday morning, July 30th, 2020. And I want to invite you to a special presentation that I'm doing tonight. We obviously have limited interaction that we can do on, uh, on these videos during the day. And um, I love the feedback. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to teach you exactly what I do on a free training tonight. So it's going to be tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time, Thursday, July 30th. And we're going to talk, we're going to talk about the two main components of everything that I do. Uh, and it's really one of the biggest revelations that people have when they come into the boot camp is that it's only those two things. You really don't need to do anything else because if you, if you have the first two things down, uh, the trading part of it actually is easier. And I, I want you to imagine this for a second. During the current market conditions, have you ever felt like as soon as you put on a trade, it's a losing trade? <laughs> We've all been there at certain points in our trading career. But the truth of the matter is that type of situation where you are consistently feeling like as soon as I put it on, I'm losing money, or as soon as I put it on, it moves against me, that's because the quality of your ideas need to improve. That means that you need to understand <clears throat> You need to understand the ideas that you're putting on before you put them on and whether or not they have a high likelihood of following through to be profitable. And you need to learn how to time your entries better. So we're gonna walk through something very quickly here. Um, and by the way, the invite uh, for the webinar is gonna be below the video in the description. I'd really like for you to be there tonight because we'll have a much better back and forth. I'm gonna walk you through step by step by step. Uh, I'm going to share my screen for a second just to show you exactly what we're going to cover tonight and who it's for. Um, so again, if you're, if you're a, a viewer of the channel, a subscriber of the channel, you know that uh, the method that I teach, which is order flow and tape reading, the basic foundation of the entire program was, I actually, my trading office in New York City was literally right here. It was on 34th Street and 7th Avenue. This bar Blaggards was around the corner from us. I happened to be down there in 2007, um, and lo and behold, I happened to be looking at my BlackBerry at the time, and somebody who worked on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange happened to be sitting next to me. We ended up having a conversation. He was a broker on the floor of the exchange. Within a very short period of time, uh, this is when the exchanges started to change from specialist-driven to electronic-driven. Very short period of time, I ended up having 24 people that, 25 people that were on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange trading in my office. Uh, so it became very interesting. They taught me what order flow was. They taught me that it was the large institutional orders from the floor that were millions and millions and millions of shares that were worked over days, weeks, and months. And they showed me how it worked. They showed me actually what it was. The institutions, the hedge funds, the banks, the, um, the government, all sent orders to the floor of the exchange for these people, the brokers, the clerks, and the specialists to work the orders. He explained that to me and all the people on the floor explained how the different functions of the floor of the New York Stock Exchange work. Then we ended up having a NASDAQ market maker named Bobby on the floor. So we ended up getting uh, the NASDAQ point of view. We ended up getting the New York Stock Exchange point of view and everything changed because now none of the price action that we were looking at uh, was confusing anymore. We eliminated all of the overwhelm <clears throat> and we knew exactly what we we're looking at. We're gonna show you what I mean by that on a chart in a minute. Um, so this was a really fortuitous uh, meeting for me, but there was a piece that was missing, uh, and that was the tape reading part. But I, I want to make it clear that <clears throat> there's three different kinds of people that should be attending this presentation tonight, okay? The first one is very, very um, new to the market, and we'll get into that, what it means in a second. What I have on the screen right now is, if you can imagine, the way that I do everything, especially when I work with a new trader, <clears throat> I, God, of course, sir. Everybody has the certain amount of trades that they place. And every time that you're placing a trade that's not perfect, in my, in my view, that doesn't perfectly match order flow, you constantly feel like you're, you're close, you're close, you're close, you're close, but you're never making money. You make money, you give it back. You make money, you give it back, and you end up at the end of the month in the same place. What we're going to discuss tonight is how to eliminate that so you can get rid of all of these trades that say trade X and only focus on those 10 trades that will ultimately end up paying you. All right? The next part we're going to talk about is who this presentation is for. Who should attend this and why? That's the biggest thing. Now, the first one is for a new trader. By far, all new traders who come into, um, whether, it's, whether it's here on YouTube and we have an interaction, whether you send me an email, the single biggest question is, I'm overwhelmed. 
I, there's so much to look at. I'm not sure where to start. Just tell me what to do tomorrow. Tell me what is the first thing I should be looking at tomorrow. I promise you, you attend tonight's event, even just attending tonight's presentation, um, you're going to understand exactly what to look at first. All right, now the second person who should be attending tonight's event is somebody who has a lot of experience. And let's just call this person, you work your, your butt off and you know every single chart pattern on the planet, but you can't make money. No matter what you do, no matter how you start, you can't make money. You, 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 you know every pattern, you know every signal, you know you've tried everything on every charting platform there is, but you can't make a dime. You, you, you're, you're just frustrated, your timing is off, you seem to have the most shares on your losing trades and your the fewer shares on your winning trades. This is actually the person that needs to be here the most because you you don't realize you're, you're so close to turning the corner, but you're just not quite there yet. And then the last person who has the fastest uh, results when you learn what I'm going to show you tonight is somebody who has stopped losing money, but you can't quite scale. You, you're, you're, you're slightly positive. You're definitely not losing anymore. You started to learn how to avoid um, bad ideas, but now at this point, you're just really not sure how to scale your winners. And that's a big deal, understanding how to get to a point where you, where you, you have the big fish on the hook, uh, and now you actually get paid. And for this person, it's interesting, the losing trades are not the problem at this point, it's the winning trades that are the problem because you just haven't pushed uh, to the other side. So what we're gonna discuss now, and actually I'm gonna come back to the screen, because something important. The last part, the order flow part is understanding what to look at. But then the second part, which is actually the timing part of it. And you'll hear me discuss it a lot in these videos where I talk about the trade is definitely bullish order flow. I absolutely like the idea. I'll day trade it today, but I hold off on initiating a new swing trade. And that's a mouthful, but that's the whole point of what tape reading is. Tape reading means building an argument for the idea where you still like the stock, it's definitely a buy. Maybe I'll buy it today, but I'm not gonna look to initiate a position as a trade I expect to hold for the next five days. Those are the trades where you put them on as a swing trade. You're like, what am I doing? Every, it's a great idea all over the charts, but as soon as I put it on, it moves against me. That's the tape reading part. And that, my friend, is what's in here. This document that was written in 1955 brought everything that I learned from order flow and those guys on the NASDAQ uh, that were market, make, uh, market makers and the specialists from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, tape reading. This was a document that was written in 1955 by a grain trader and a stock trader. Changed everything. It really brought it into focus. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I'm going to teach you that tonight. Um, this, the, the language that I learned from people on the floor of the exchange was basically this. If you're watching a stock, you need to know when the story changes and when the order flow changes. <clears throat> and I'm gonna give you a very tiny example of what that looks like right now. So we're looking at DocuSign and looking at it on the weekly chart. The stock has been a very easy trade this year while the story was obvious, while the order flow was consistent from day to day and week to week. But <clears throat> all of a sudden the story changed here and you didn't recognize it. And I'm just using DocuSign as an example here where the mentality is I have this tunnel vision that for weeks, even months in this stock, the stock was easy to trade. And you just kind of feel like every single time the thing pulls back or breaks out, it's the same trade as it was in June. And it's not anymore. The story has changed. The story has changed. We went from very bullish and obvious to selling and a lot of it to massive indecision to buying again. So that story over this three week period is where money goes to die if you don't pay attention. That change in the story, and when I say story, I mean the order flow change. I mean that reading the tape change. If you don't understand what the order flow looks like in the first place, you can't understand how to know when it changed. If you do understand, then you have to take it a deeper one or two steps to say, okay, so how does that translate into how I buy this strong stock? And that's a big deal. We talk about it a lot during the day in the, uh, in the tape reading room is you can still love an idea, but then there's certain ideas that require a little finesse to work the position versus all the lights are green and you just go and you have a lot more conviction. The stock might still be a good buying opportunity, but not in the same way that it might have been two weeks ago. 
And these are all the parts of the equation that we're going to discuss tonight. It, it's a free event. It's a free training. I'm going to get into a lot of detail here. I'm going to discuss some of the problems that we have at different stages in our trading career and how to overcome them. Uh, and especially, again, if you're on that last edge where you're not losing money anymore, uh, but you really want to get to the point where you understand how to hold those winners, uh, it's definitely going to be worth your time tonight. Spend some time with me this evening at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, the link is below. I hope to see you there.